Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Blessed day, everybody. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray you are all well and having a blessed day. As for me and my household, we are so thankful and grateful to God for His grace, His mercy, His goodness, and His kindness. I have evening shift, but we are still going to pray and thank the Lord for everything. Shall we just go before the presence of God? Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before your presence this day. Lord God Almighty, we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. We worship you and we magnify your name. We honor you and we lift you up. We exalt thee for there is no one like you and there will never be another one like you. Father, we are so thankful. We are so grateful to you for your grace, your mercy, your goodness and kindness over us, Lord, our families, our children, our loved ones and our neighbors. We are so thankful to you, Jesus Christ, for all your goodness and your grace throughout the whole entire earth. We bless your name and we exalt you on this day. We lift you high and we are so thankful to you. It is because of you, Lord, that we are awake today. Nothing that we have done deserves the end. But by your grace and your mercy, Lord, we are alive, we are awake, we are able and capable. So we thank you, Lord, for your preservation, your protection, and your love that endures forever, Lord. Jehovah Nisi, we surrender ourselves before your presence, Elohim, mind, body, soul, and spirit. We give ourselves away, and we ask that God have your way. Let your will and your purpose be done in our lives. Enter, Lord, into our midst, in and out, Lord. Search us, Lord. Begin to approach everything that does not align with you. Make us the people you want us to be. Jehovah Nisi, you are the only refiner, purifier that can change us and transform us from every conformed ways. Father, we ask you to transform us, not in our own power, will, or, or purpose, but in your own will, power, grace, and purpose, that you'll be able to refine us, that you'll be able to separate us, that you'll be able to heal us, to deliver us, Lord, to set us free, and to guide us, most of all, to help us to live a righteous life and a holy life as we are waiting for your coming or waiting when we are going to reunite with you again, Lord Jesus. Father, today, as we have already meditated on the scripture of Philemon, we are asking Jehovah Nisi for that amazing grace, Lord, to love one another, to love each other, to be there for one another, to be kind to each other, to be loving to one another, to be loving to our neighbors, to all races, to all people, to all mankind, even to animals who you are the God who created each and everything. Lord, especially the church, I ask that you help us as the body of Christ Jehovah Nisi to be patient, Lord, to be welcoming, to be accepting, to remember that even us before we got to the place where we are right now, it took the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and the Word of God, and you, Lord, building us. So we are asking that you help us to be kind and to be loving to our brothers and sisters who are coming in the body of Christ now, to accept them according to the way they are, to not make them feel uncomfortable or unloving, to make them not feel like we are judging them. For, Father, it is you, Quimidak, it is you, Lord, who transforms people, who changes people, who makes people the way you want them to be. So our prayer is that you help us, God. You help us to be patient with others. You help us to be loving with others. You help us, Lord, to be welcoming as others are coming in. Whatever they are still dealing with, may we remember that it is you, God, who transforms a man from every conformed way. So we are asking you, God of Abraham, help us, Lord, when people come in the church and they are still dealing with afflictions, still dealing with strongholds and evil principalities, still dealing with sin. May we remember that we are not perfect, for only you are holy and only you are perfect. Even us, Lord, there is no guarantee that we are in heaven already. We are seeking salvation, and that's why we live according to your mercy, your grace, your will, and your purpose. May we not make other people feel like when we have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost, we are greater and mighty than anyone else. May we not make them feel like they are beneath us and we are above. Father, instead, may we welcome them, as it is saying in Philemon, Apostle Paul, Lord, encouraging us, Lord, to welcome each and everybody that comes in, 
especially those that used to, to be useless in a way that like we used to be as well. We were all once useless, Lord, and we have all been useless when the devil gloated over us, when we were living for this evil world, when we did not have spiritual understanding, knowledge, and wisdom. We were all sinners, Lord. We were all once useless, but by the grace and the mercy of God, we have been transformed. We have been renewed by you, God. We have all been given a purpose and a chance, despite how other people have done with one another. To you, God, Lord Jesus, we are all all equal, and we have all been given the grace and the chance. Father, may you help the church to welcome people in for the only place in this world where everybody is welcome without having any money, any passport, any background of anything. It is in your presence for you sent your only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for all of us to be set free. So my prayer today is that, Father, you will help the church because it is the church that makes people feel unwelcome because they are drinking, they are smoking. And it is up to you, God, to change and transform man, not for us to transform one another, looking down on each other. God, we are not supposed to be prophesying on each other in our own power or will. It is for the Spirit, the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit of God to manifest and speak over a man. But now the church has become boss over others, Lord, always talking about the sin of others, always calling out the gay people, always calling out the people who smoke and drink, always calling out the people that are different, instead of remembering Remembering that Apostle Paul himself, one of the greatest apostles that has ever lived in our generation and throughout all creation, was a murderer, Lord. He used to be a killer. You are the God who takes prostitutes and makes them into wives. You are the same God who takes a murderer and gives him a new chance, refine him and changes his life. God, may you remind the church that as we are looking down on people, mighty are the ones we are looking down on. For God can use anything. The Bible says if the world and people and creation will not praise you, even this very very stones shall be commanded to worship you, Jesus. My prayer today is that, Father, you will help us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, to respect our elders, to show kindness and love to one another. In our going out and coming in, we ask for your protection and your guidance. We ask that you help us to be loving. It is not easy in this evil world to show love to people. But, Father, we ask through your word, through your Holy Ghost and your Holy Spirit to help us to love other people. And today we cover everything, our families, our children, our marriages, our homes, our brothers and sisters, including our neighbors. Lord, we cover the whole entire creation, including the animals, Lord, including the very air we are breathing. We cover it to you who is our provider and our sustainer. We thank you for this day. It is through the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We worship you and exalt your name in Jesus' name mighty name, the Son of the living God. We worship you, Lord. We exhort you and we thank you for who you are and for all you do. And we ask that, Lord, may you provide for every household that nobody will be hungry, that those who are poor, Lord, use us, Father, your children. Give us the money to be feeding people, Lord. May the chain of kindness continue to grow. No household shall be without. May every child receive food and water today, Jehovah Nisi, including the children in Africa, Lord, including the children in Palestine, in Syria and Afghanistan. The government and the world might forget, Lord, but you are the God and the Father and provider for every living creature. And men might think it is simple, but I trust in you, God. And I know that out of our prayers, Lord, one man pray, it changes the whole entire world. We bless you, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. May your name be praised. May your name be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you, Lord, for all you do. En minuta. En minuta, mini. Eight minutes, I we thank you, Lord. We surrender all these prayers and we surrender everything creation, mankind, and everything on the earth in Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God. We bless you and we worship you in Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. Amen, amen, and amen. One second, guys, we're gonna go. But take to me. I pray for everyone because we are online and because God knows all of us. I don't need to know your name. So I pray for everybody. Yes. With people online, Facebook. Yes, that's why. But I pray for everybody because we are all children of God. I don't know you. We are strangers, but God knows you. I am the church of God.
because the church is just a building, but the word of God liveth in men's sense. So ik ben de kerk van God, daarom ik kan offer ook gewoon bieden en ik kan ook God offer ook dank. Huh? Yes. Yes. God bless you, Mia. Thank you. Eh? Have a blessed day. Eh? Fine, Amidak. So let me go and get started. Today I have evening shift like you all know. I'll see you people by the way and the grace of God. Have a blessed day. Make sure that we continue praying and go and read, uh, read Philemon. All the scriptures we share, you read them and you also have your own scripture for the day that you read. And we continue praising God. Amen. Before I get late, let me hurry up and run for my shift. Have a blessed day. Love all of you and God loves all of you more. Bye-bye.